As you know, there's always buzz about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, but now some of the focus has shifted to their daughter, Shiloh. Life and Style Weekly has put the three-year-old on its cover, asking if her haircut and wardrobe are too boyish. Here to discuss kids and their style choices are Life and Style Weekly News Director Jessica Callan and psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig, a contributor to Care.com. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Let me start with you, Jessica. Why did you decide to make Shiloh's new look a cover story? I think when we saw the photographs that came in last week of Shiloh in Paris with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt with that haircut, it was just complete shocking transformation from a little girl who is probably the most photographed children around the world with her lovely long blonde hair, who's now looks like a little boy. What was the reaction to the photos? I think the reactions okay. in the office when we saw it was absolute shock. We just could not believe, you know, she's gone as far as this because she's been a tomboy, dressed very boyish, has a sword and, you know, has a self-professed love for Peter Pan. But all of a sudden now she's looking like, like their fourth boy. And is that a problem? I mean, Robbie, I, I have yeah. a little girl at home. She's the girliest girl in the world. To get her to wear anything but a dress or long hair I, is a I battle in yes. my house. So I let her go. I let her wear whatever she wants. Right. Is that a bad thing? No, no. And I think kids go through phases. So, you know, I don't think anybody should be too concerned. But I really do think that they're probably just following her lead here, that she has a preference for boys' clothes and short hair. And that's really what you want to do as a parent anyway. But let's talk about when it might possibly get to be a problem <clears throat> if people start saying oh look at that cute little boy and she hears that could that lead to some gender identity issues for not her? necessarily no. really that's a very personal soul choice and it's really not uncommon for kids to go through phases where they want to look like a boy or even pretend they're a boy or play boys games and really at one point they decide, is it worth it to be out of sync with my peers? And in some cases, it's not a choice. And even in major cases where kids are not clear what their gender is, parents and psychologists mm -hmm. are suggesting go with your kid's lead because you really want to support their happiness and security. What's the danger if you don't? If you say, no, 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 you have to look like a girl, you have to wear the dress. Well, I guess the downside is you're not supporting your child's choices, and that could lead to a child feeling like you don't love them as they are, you're not trusting but them. But you're the adult. Some people might say you have True. to guide them. And here's, here's where I would say there's a caveat. You know, if you're supporting your kids' choices and they're in school and there's a chance that they could get made fun of, you do want to protect them from the harsh onlookers, and you don't want to put them in that position. But really, if a child feels that you know they want to do this and, and they feel that it's not good for them not to do it, you want to support them but help them negotiate life in a way that feels tolerable to them. I'm sure this magazine, Jessica, is going to sell like crazy because for some reason people are just so obsessed with everything Angelina and Brad, including their kids. Why do you think that is? They're the biggest celebrities. I think we have at the moment around so these two huge A-list stars of course when they came together huge amounts of controversy over that so the minute they started having children that was it it just increased and headlines. And I think too Angelina is such a fashion icon mm. it is striking to see that she would have a biological daughter who doesn't seem to follow her lead listen we all wanted green earrings after the Oscars <laughs> last year so I think it's interesting yeah. that, that she has a daughter that seems to look more like you know her, her father, father and want yeah. to identify with the yeah. boys so that's also interesting yeah well we don't know what angelina looked like as a kid maybe right. she dressed like a little and boy and there are a lot of right? boys who turn that's out to be mean. supermodels and exactly. she could end up being a fashion icon herself so it really is too soon to tell all right very good ladies thanks so much thank you now let's go back to harry